Hey guys, I promised I'd make a uh, 1055T overclocking video, and there's 1055T, um, but I never got around to it. So I shall do it right now for you guys. I'm sorry I put it off so long, um, but uh, school started, you know, all that stuff, senior year, last year, I'm all excited. So as you can see, um, you can see my CPU ID, I don't really care. Uh, my CPU frequency is at 3.8 GHz, and you can obviously see it's um, uh, base clock 272, multiplier 14, uh, but I was version 1.2, 1.12, my bad, or that's the date code, 29th of the 4th month, 2010, uh, 4 gigs uh, RAM, 3, gig, uh, 3 meg uh, L2, 6 meg L3, so uh, let's see, what else do I want? At 3.8, my I've been running this. I just uh, restarted my computer, so it's not exactly accurate. But um, my CPU temperature idle, uh, not playing games uh, for a while after it cools down. It's about uh, low 30s. So um, system temperature is not bad. It's a little warmer than I'd like. Which is why I'm going water cooling later on. Um, but now that you've seen that, you can go over to cell menu, which is, if you don't know, it's MSI's version of overclocking, the AI tweaker from Asus. So here is the CPU frequency, the DRAM frequency. Yes, it's low. Um, my multiplier options are one, uh, 1 to 1, I think it was, or 1, one to 2 and 1 to 2.66. 1 to 2 is 1088, 1 to 2.66 is like 14 something, 1476, something like that. And it's not stable, so I'm stuck at 1088. I don't mind it, you know, it's nothing big. So, cool and quiet. Usually have it on disabled. Um, but, yeah. So, frequency, uh, if you're, depending on what processor you get, every processor overclocks differently. So mine went up to 3.8, which is a full 1 gigahertz overclock from my stock of 2.8. Yes, simple math. Um, so to get to 3.8, you could do 272. I think it was, if you want 4, it's 283. Or, no, 284, my bad. So you see right there, 3, 3.976. Or you could even do 285, 286, crap. But uh, 286. There we go. That's 4 gigahertz. My bad. Um, I haven't done the 4 in a while. Now I'm obviously not going to boot into this. I mean, it stays stable for a while, but eventually I get a hyper-threading error, um, just because I can't uh, clock up the hyper-threading any farther. Um, and what's well, nice about the 4? It's the north bridge and the heat, the hyperthreading. Uh, if you don't know, on the AM3, the max frequency and megahertz that the uh, north bridge or the hyperthreading could, hyper transport can do, is 2.6 gigahertz. So I'm right up at that border right here, at a uh, 2.57. But um, I tried it; doesn't work. My hyperthreading doesn't seem to want to go any higher. But people, don't leave a comment just because I didn't try. Well, I did try. Tried it actually quite a few times, um, but uh, you have to realize stock is 2 gigahertz on both of them, so a half a gigahertz overclock on a north bridge and a hyper transport is pretty substantial. Um, and then I have it uh, at 9 because that would be way too high. And, and a turbo core turned off for obvious reasons, if you ask me why, I'm just going to call you an idiot. Um, everything else, so I'll just put this back to 272. I'll scroll down here. So yeah, I'm at 1.2, 1 to 2. One, at one, yeah, 1450, that's over the AMD 1333 megahertz, you know, stock. And it doesn't uh, play very well, even after upping the voltages. So 1.2 is where I'm at. Hyper threading. Now you notice that my north bridge is at 9x. When you have the north, whatever the north bridge is at, it locks the hyper threading to that uh, as a max. Because hyper, ah, 
Dang, I keep thinking hyper Hypertransport uh, cannot go over the north bridge speed. Don't ask me why, it's just the fact of life. Fact of life. So, here's my here are my voltages. Um, I didn't play around with much. CPU voltage 1.445, uh, north bridge 1.25, uh, north bridge, oh, no, CPU north bridge, my bad. Um, north bridge 1.2, hyper threading, where's the DRAM? Oh, forgot to change that, my bad. Okay, so, now that's set. I had to flash my BIOS, so I missed a couple settings. Yeah, that looks like it, it looks it. So we'll save and exit, and then I shall reboot into Windows. And uh, it'll give you an idea of the speed. It's pretty decent. I am using a Western Digital KVR Black 1TB. So if it seems slow to you SSD users, I apologize. But yeah. Best motherboard six months ago. But meh, not anymore. Sorry about the background noise, it's a fan. Got the windows open, it's actually cooler outside. Pretty cool out. Uh, 67, something like that. 70, 72. Fahrenheit. Sorry for you European users, uh, viewers, you might have to convert that. No idea what it is in Celsius. So we should log in. Now I'm going to warn you, I have quite a few programs on startup, and I do have a very large profile. I think it's like a 290 gig profile, something like that. Um, but I have, you know, Steam on startup. I have Norton, which slows the login down significantly. Um, uh, without Norton, it was like 17 seconds with all my junk loading up. With Norton, it's like 30 seconds if you don't like wait for all the stuff to preload before you log in. So yeah, I like Bad Company too. Um, we shall wait till the rest loads. Usually, I just wait for everything to preload. You know, till the hard drive light stops flashing and then I log in. And it's pretty quick. Okay, there we go. We're all set. Just have to wait for. Uh, oh, ATI reloaded. Nice. Okay, let's so um hmm. Oh, razor driver's loading. Okay. Taking abnormally long. Okie doke, so, uh, you can't see it. No, but yeah, you saw, you guys saw that it was at 3.8, so that'll have to do. Um, but, everything's completely stable, fairly quick. Here, I'll do a test run here. So this is Photoshop CS5 64-bit extended, so... I have like 12 load uh, plugins, so yep, all set to go. And it's loading the plugins, and we're set. So I can go and open a previous file, or I can create a new one. But this video is not about Photoshop, so I shall exit now. So that, just to give you an idea. Um, I recorded 20 gigabytes of Dirt 2 gameplay, so I shall cut some of that down, and I shall hopefully post it on YouTube at shortly after this one. Um, but so yeah, for now, peace out, dudes. Also, oh, before I go, 
Firefox 4 beta 4 is out today so it's pretty pretty quick it's almost as fast as Chrome but yeah so yeah have fun I hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you have any questions just leave a comment uh, and remember overclocking results will not be the same for everyone depends on the processor so yeah guys peace